Butler. Pass in front of shot, they score! Once again, the Fairbanks Ice Dogs found themselves in a familiar spot, at the top of the Midwest Division. With a record of 38-11-3, they had 79 points and enjoyed a 17-point cushion in first place. They are the only team in the Midwest to clinch their playoff spot and almost the first team to clinch their division. But it's always tough to end a season like that, and especially senior guys that are aging out, um, you know, in tears, not being able to um, see things through that we had started the season with, with some high hopes and aspirations and we're moving in the right direction. So uh, just surprising, disappointing, and, and it is what it is. We'll move past it and looking forward to this coming season. They were led by Matt Cothey and Oliver Kajir as they had 51 and 50 points respectively. Nine Fairbanks forwards had 30 points or more, while NHL draft hopeful Dylan Abbott led the Blue Liners with 27 points in 50 games. The offense was ranked fourth, scoring 3.79 goals per game. Matias Scholl got plenty of work for the Ice Dogs as the former team NHL netminer played in 41 of his team's 52 games. Scholl led the league with 29 wins, while his 1.99 goals against average was good for seventh and his 9.24 save percentage ranked eighth. He will most likely be a key piece to the Ice Dogs' success this coming season as well. The Ice Dogs committed 13 players to Division I schools as they once again thrived in moving kids on to the next phase of their hockey careers. We believe in the concept of getting better each day and if you're good enough somebody's going to see you or you know once you get to that threshold as a coaching staff like we're, we're all in like this kid should play Division I hockey deserves that opportunity. While their home games may feel a little different to start the 2020-2021 season, the Ice Dogs goals don't change. They expect to be in Minnesota in May.